actually like this color. I feel like it goes well with my with this shirt. Even though on camera, like it looks like it's pinkish a little, like that's what it seems like to me. But it's actually a little like a beige brownish, lighter brown. That was why I was using the other scarf before. Yes, it's still the same thing. So, but yeah, no, sorry. I was watching this channel, which um usually go, which they present our goes around and like ask people to like recite and ayah, like do some grand challenges and everything. And so he did this one about like women and like women opinions on polygyny, like polygamous marriage in Islam. Which, you know, as you all have known, it is permissible for a man to marry more than one wife. But even so, with that, with that being said, it's when like this person, this man, can cater for all the women that he marries. Like, um, two is like the ideal one, but ooh, the the men just go out and all out there and marry this, marry this. I was reading the comment section and there was this person that says um, the Nollywood, <laughs> the Nollywood movie industry had, um, <laughs> you know, basically the Nollywood uh, movie industry had uh, infiltrated like negative opinions about um, polygyny, like polygamous marriage, like n not, not for it within its particular religion or a particular culture or tribe or anything like that, but the guy, the person actually meant that the Nollywood movie industry had infiltrated like negative emotional response and negative um negative intuitions about polygamous, which on one uh, on one hand it is true, like you know, I mean we are all human beings and we are all emotional human beings, especially when they say that women are more emotional blah 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 and all that i mean fine Ooh, like it's cool to be emotional it means that you're in tune it's me i i i think it makes you more mindful i mean there's nothing wrong with being emotional being as long as like you're created that way so why not just embrace it embrace it <laughs> but don't start any drama but anyways like i left a com my comment too that oh i would the women that the presenter um interviewed they were very positive about it actually like you know some are very assertive on like what they will stand and what they will not stand and they were very i mean like some even go further and say oh it's the ordeal of the lord and so if he wants then he can go ahead and some are like oh if he if he can provide, if he has the money, if he can provide for all the women, then why not? Which is true. I mean, like this, all the responses were all valid. So I left on the comment section, I was like, you know, ladies, just get him to sign a an agreement with you that he will he will marry. He can marry another lady or another woman after this specific years with you which i think like reasonable for me i think it's reasonable because you know the rate that especially when like this is not um i mean there's no sharia or there's no law or islamic court that actually look into this and like try to rationalize things and be like you know is this really what you want to do when you are not even able to have two two dress or two shirts in the house and you have five children already with this wife i mean it's enough you have a, you have responsible enough for them like they say all of you seven in the household and you want to bring another person in like really you're going to you're going to frustrate this other person but I, men are rational beings so i hope they are and I, and I know that they don't want to frustrate themselves in dramas and everything so my take on it just comes from if this man really wants to like go for polygyny and everything like that, then they should be at least be respectful about it. As in like ask the first wife. Because I'm pretty sure they still have to ask the first wife, like, oh, I want to take this step. Because ultimately, if the if the first wife agrees, because he has to like 
not like move to the side, but he has to like make space and be all inviting and welcoming to this new wife into the household. And, and that's assuming that they're going to be living together. But if they're not going to be living together, if the new wife is going to have a separate um, flat or house, then I guess that's another um, context. So I left a comment there like, oh, you just make sure that uh, like an agreement that you will sign that, oh, you, you're allowed to do anything you want. Well, you're allowed to do this, but at certain time, and after certain years with me, you know what I'm. Because even the Prophet Sallallahu he was with Aditya for 20 years before he married Aisha. Yes, so the Prophet was monogamously married to Hadija for 25 years before he then went on to take on um, Hadi I'm sorry, Aisha as the next wife. Yes. Can you, can you, you know when they say like put yourself in some other person's shoes, like can I put my, put, I don't know how to rationalize this or explain it in a better way that even if the prophet will not, will stay with the, with the, with his wife Hadija for 25 years before he gets married to another person, I mean does, that counts too. That counts as in like, oh, you don't want, you just don't want to do anything. Just go, the Quran said I can have more than one wife and then you just go uh, do whatever and then ignore, um, ignore the first wife. You don't like acknowledge her, you don't do anything. You just went and get an order. Because I'm pretty sure like somewhere you have to like ask the first wife that, oh, I'm going to take this step. Are you going to take this step with me? Because ultimately you're all family like it's supposed to be like a collaboration like i mean again i'm not in it like collaboration understanding and you know i mean kudos to like women and married people out there that are doing this whether in monogamously or polygamously kudos to everyone out there so I was like, yeah, just to make sure that he signed. Because, you know, for me to say that, it's just like how like the men kind of like take advantage of that power. Like, oh, the Allah said, I can I'm take more than one wife and then I'm just going to do whatever I want. And not taking into account, yeah, the feelings of the first wife. It shouldn't come to that for me to like say, oh, you have to use this certain amount of years with me before you go on and marry me. Because honestly, some some stories be like, the, the man who got married to this lady this year, and next year is already having, having another wife. I mean, like there's no time to even explore or even like know this man, this man with the first wife. Like, if, can you imagine? You get married this year to this man, and then next year is already having another man, which, why, which was why I was like, oh, just make him sign this agreement that for this year, you're going to be with me for this amount of time before you can, and then after then you can, or even like maybe you're going to, you're going to give me this, or you're going to be part of my business, or you're going to help me with this before you can, you know, you can do what you want, but you're going to spend this amount of time with me because i would feel like it would be like a reasonable a reasonable terms really for the two people to argue and collaborate and find a middle ground but then the the rest when i got was like oh even if the man is like well off if he's rich if he's wealthy if he's this and that then he will not want to sign the agreements and i was like oh if this man is right and he's nice and he's loving and you know kind compassionate i don't even want to put religious in there if he is all this thing then he will want to do this for you and do right by you say so, oh this person wants me to give them their time like islamically there isn't any like you know you're getting together secretly you're going to date before marriage all this happened after marriage so imagine if you don't have that that time to know this person before marriage and then you get to you, you marry them after marriage and then they're now 
looking around for another wife. Which is when like the agreements were coming like, oh, but you have to stay with me for this certain year. Say 10 years. You have, I mean, 10 years is reasonable. Like, honestly, I'll say five years is too little. And 10 years is reasonable. Because in that 10 years, you two will have had two kids or three kids and like still collabing with each other. You know what I mean? The, that, that's what I think. Like, it should be a mutual consent. I mean, you should still regard the first person in your life, the first wife as not. I have to get permission. Like, really, it's actually get permission from this first wife before you bring another drama into her home or the home that she built, that she probably thought it would be only her, her children, and you. And then you're going to bring out this person to come and... So, I mean, to come into the home and be part of the family and, you know, if you watch Nigerian movies, really, there are so many dramas. I think the agreements will be fair because in that meantime, the woman can know her husband as well. I think that the, the first or the first or only wife can know her man. What is he like? What kind of things he does? What you know? Because if you if he's married you this year and then next year is going is bringing another person in, there is really no time. I mean, no time to know this person. And it's what the men. I you know I don't even want to say the men because I don't want to generalize, but it's what people take advantage of take so much advantage of this and it's so weird how like you know you got so many women and be like oh I mean the first wives also have to have a say in this matter as in like do I want him bringing another woman in the household but if he's I guess if he has money and he's going to find the person another house I guess I do not know how it works in reality but I've heard so many stories and I mean sometimes you watch this situation as an outsider and it's very sad and you also pray for the best from the almighty God to give you the best and to give you a compassionate understanding husband partner friend companion yeah but that's what I sh I said. Like I was like, just make him sign an agreement. This day and age, people be like, oh, I don't want to ask him to give me any dowry because he's marrying me for me. I'm not trying to sell myself to him. Blah blah blah. But honestly, I mean, sometimes you kind of have to be smart about this kind of situation. I mean, if this man is rich, or even if he's not, and he feels, and I guess if you know him at a certain level, or maybe even after you sign this agreement and you realize that this person is the most amazing person ever, and he will never do anything to you, and he will never do anything to hurt you, anything to harm you, or he doesn't even have that notion of getting the second wife or something like that, or external partner or anything like that, then you, maybe you can say like, oh, I am, like I'm, going to limit this to this, this agreement to this, or or even maybe just cancel the agreement, I don't know. But it's a security for you too. I mean, like, isn't that supposed to be like a security? I mean, it doesn't have to be money. It's going to be like, oh, spend this certain amount of time with me as a husband, and that will be my diary. Imagine, like, you just go ahead. Like some some brother come up to you and be like, oh, I want to marry you. Say, okay, sure. If you can't spend, if you can spend 40 years with me, that would be my dowry. Spend certain, I mean, you don't have to give me money. You don't have to give me this. You don't have to anything like that. But I have one request. Spend 40 years with me or spend 20 years with me or spend 10 years with me. As a, as a monogamous marriage, because I want to know what that feels like before anyone feels like, oh, they have the authority. They have the authority or ultimate, the, or the Quran says that they can go and marry two wives or four wives. And honestly, it's actually, it actually doesn't it actually um, limit to two, and then, but then you can still marry more than two, but you have to, like, 
You know what I mean? But people are so crazy though. So if a brother comes to me and be like, I want to know, I was like, okay, spend 10 years with me. And you know, I'm, I mean, <laughs> I don't even want to start talking about like, if, if you're taking this into context in like Western society, I mean, most Western society doesn't even, um, having more than a partner is criminalized. It's a, it's a criminal act. Like you can't, like in most, in many Western societies, maybe in most or in all, I don't know, I, I don't know so much about like the demographic of uh, things or how the law goes, but I'm pretty sure like many Western societies frown upon this. But then in Af in can we just want to say that in Africa, yeah, many African societies doesn't. And many religions even acknowledge this. But at the same time, we're gonna give regards to the women that this are impacting. Like emotionally, I mean, people are different. Some people are really cool about like polygamous. Like they can be friends with the, with the, with the wives and everything. And some people be like, no, it's just me and my spouse this is what you promised me and da, da 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 and they have a right to be that I mean we're all emotional beings we're all emotional beings yes we are people are amazing in how they deal with each other and can we all just be nicer it's wouldn't hurt yeah, so that was what our the argument was there and I realized that it was getting quite educative and I was like let me just talk about this on my channel so I'd be like see don't give me money don't give me this don't give me that especially if you live in a country where like this is like normal normal thing I mean there is still that you still can secure yourself by, by having this person sign an agreement with you that they need to spend this amount of time with you before they go on and be like and get another woman or another lady yeah I want to marry them I mean in that meantime that you maybe say that you say that you actually said five years or ten years in that time you can be you can know them better as a person I say you can work together better and you can work towards yourself too and like even have like time to do like family planning and all this then I mean allow Alam if they suddenly decide that they don't want another person anymore then it's just like security I mean you can I was like just make it to your diary like just make those like I mean, come on, the prophet was married to Adita for 25 years, monogamously. That should say a lot. Even though he later married more wives, which is actually for political reasons, political reasons to create alliances, because there are so many tribes that were fighting. There is a reason behind it. Why will you bring, I mean, but that's my take on it and that's what i wanted to share i mean do say if you have do say do share your own thoughts about it i mean like, this is not it sh but uh, really it shouldn't come down to the the lady bringing out an agreement that signs this for me to be secure and you must uphold this agreement because if he doesn't uphold on this agreement that's on him if he signed the agreement and he it was nullified by him that's on him because at least you secured yourself in some ways and honest and you know people say that oh where do we start from where do i start from this like you can always start from again from the beginning Fatia, Alhamdulillah, start again. We always have to. But honestly, I mean, like the many stories you hear, you hear about polyg polygamous is so heartbreaking that like, why would you even want to try it? Cool, like a cool person, like a gentle person, 
And then you brought this drama into their life and they have to adjust, they have to do this, they have to... I mean, when we are talking about marriage, people that are in monogamous marriage are also working on it. Can you talk less of polygamy? Can you imagine? They are, like, the man is fighting the, the wife in the monogamous one, and then I mean, the same thing is going to happen in polygamous, but multiplied or exponentially. <laughs> like I said before, if you're living in the Western world, maybe this wouldn't be like a like a thing or a major set down or a major issue, really. Maybe if you live in a Western world, it wouldn't be a major issue or a major setback or even anything like that. Maybe it wouldn't be. But if you live in an environment where like the <laughs> I mean, even like the family would be the one that brings the second woman to the house. It's like, ah. And then they'd be like, they want the first one to adjust. If you watch Nigerian movies sometimes, like your Ram movies, you watch this polygamous situation, you can start crying. Because the way the wives just go at each other, or the way they treat the first one, and you know, sometimes it's for ridiculous reasons, like, oh, well, at least in the movie, oh, the woman cannot give birth. Now the man has to go. He can't. The woman cannot give birth. Which really, if the or or so or sometimes it's about the woman doesn't have a male child, or the woman is too is too educated or too rich. Like honestly, like the woman, she's too rich. And then the man just go ahead and do something. It's like, yeah, but you, like, I want to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how people rationalize this thing, but it's really sad. And you listen to this situation, really? She's so rich. Really? She's so rich? <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh my, that was this one. Like, oh, it's she's so, she's too rich. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the woman was too rich. And then the man was like, oh, the next thing to keep the woman on guard is to get another person pregnant even sometimes the way they even go about this is like wow See, at least if you have that agreement for yourself as a security at least you put something forward as in like this you have to uphold on this issue you have to uphold it and that is especially if you live in an environment where this this issue is like nothing and people marry like they are eating popcorn yeah like they are eating google you still have to be smart about it just be, be smart like there is an agreement sign it and then we can get married and you have to uphold on this if you don't then it's if you don't I'm working out. If you don't, it's on you. Not on me, it's on you. That's why I was saying that there shouldn't even be in a, um, a paper for it to be brought out, to sign. Like, why Why does it have to come to this? For, I mean, for security, to be safe, and to keep this man on guard. Then, yeah. Because ultimately, you're, if you want to do this Islamically, you're not supposed to know this person before marriage. You're not supposed to even be with them. So have your list there and they sign it. And maybe, do they even have to argue about the diary? Do they, I mean, if you, if you mention that, does there have to be an argument? Because if, if the diary is going to be an argument, like a big, or even like a small or whether small or big argument, then you know that, okay. So what is going on? Is there like, are we going to have this issue when we actually like get married? You know what I mean? It's just to be safe. Because women go through a lot. We do. We do. Resiliency. And people would be like resiliency, resiliency, strong women, strong women, strong women, 
strong black woman that doesn't crack. Please, we crack. I'm tired. I don't know how to do like this wing thing completely, but, but yeah, that was that's what I want to say. Like honestly, just it's for safeguard, for safeguard yourself, security, and it doesn't have to come to the paper, but if it has to come to that, especially if you're if it's like an arranged thing or if it's somebody that you don't really know or maybe you just kind of know each other for like maybe three five months, so be be rational about it and safeguard yourself and after everyone is gone or everything is done it's still going to be you and if anything goes wrong people are going to judge you they're going to so they're going to find fault somewhere and somehow the men are too precious to have any faults but which is a lie because we're all human and and everybody has some kind of fault somewhere, somehow. So, you come first, safeguard yourself, and put it out there. And some people are like, oh, it's just a joking material, and be like, oh, we're not going to sign it, it's definitely for me, da 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 da. And, like, and then you present yourself, like, oh, I, I, but I, really, if the person is doing it for the right reason, Whatever is on the paper should not matter. Even if you say 100 years, if they're doing it for the right reason, and they, yeah, if they're doing it for the right reason, whatever on the paper should not matter. Of course, it has to be something safe for them to, I mean, you can't be like, um, put, some, put something on there that is not safe for the man, not safe for the man. But if it's safe, and if you're going to say my diary is you're going to spend this 20 years with me in a peaceful monogamous marriage and then you can move forward to should we say that okay should we say even say that the prophet was in a monogamous i'm sorry should we say that prophet was in a monogamous relationship with Adija for 25 years or should we say should we say Adija was in a monogamous marriage with the prophet for 25 years that has to count that has to count so i think i'm going to stop here if i had for something else to add i would probably do a short um stuff or maybe just type it under the comments box or the description box but with that i'm going to say thank you salam alaikum and do share like subscribe enjoy follow and i'll see you some other time and i do want to hear your comments and your opinion on this